This video is called How to Be an Arsonist. We're here at Holland Hole Farm. We're going to burn this brush pile, that brush pile, and any other brush pile around here. What we've done is we've taken some twine that's, uh, you know, dried out and some cardboard and put it on the side that the wind hits first. In other words, you do this in the wind side. Go ahead, let her go, Mike. Right. you got to get it close. And out of the wind. Okay. The twine really likes to burn. <clears throat> we get a good hot fire going right in this spot right here, and the wind will carry it right into the rest of the brush. There's no oil or gas used on this. This is just twine, and it really starts to rip. Now we've got to start getting back. It's starting to get hot. Doesn't take long. This fire will be going good in just a few minutes. This is after 60 seconds. It's starting to really rip. This is after 90 seconds, and it gets hot quick with that twine and cardboard in there. And it rained here yesterday. As you can see, the ground is very wet, so it's not a problem with you know being too dry. M many of these trees were just dug out and pulled out a week ago. But that's really ripping. That's going good. Now that's one minute. About a minute, minute and a half now. And that sucker is on fire. Let's get the other pile going over here. That's about a minute and a half into the fire, and it's really cooking and blazing. So we're going to start this next one here. We're going to put some cardboard in. Do you have any more twine? One of them twine. We're preparing this little fire. We're going to get this burlap in there. Okay, let her rip. That one's cooking good. Put the matches so the matches go into an area where the wind doesn't put the fire out. That's good. It's ready. Get it right in there. <clears throat> That should do it. And again, that fire is really cooking. We like to use a little bit of cardboard fire starters or burlap or twine and it really gets these fires cooking. And the reason we like to burn these trees is any trees on the farm that are infected with any kind of a bug, we like to burn them up. That's, that's the best way to get rid of a, of a bug, an insect, a boar, is to burn them. That one's really cooking. This is about five minutes into the, to the blaze, and it's actually really getting hot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our bobcat loader out here and we're going to pick out more stuff that's in the woods there and we're going to just throw more on there if that gets cooking good. We're going to push those roots and stumps right up in there. And then if we go through the nursery here, we have a tree that we don't like, we'll stick that in too. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville. We have plenty of trees and shrubs for you. We have hundreds and hundreds of acres of trees. Oh, I guess the fire marshal will be here soon enough. But we have an absolute right to burn. In Pennsylvania, they have a constitution, believe it or not. It says you're allowed to own, possess, and protect real property. And we're protecting our trees by burning out the bugs. And our right to burn is an indefeasible right. And we will exercise our right to burn. And smoke out our neighbors, too. And, you, and Mike, you're our neighbor. You don't mind, do you? Oh, not at all. Mike lives across the street. You burn? Oh, yeah. And we all burn. We all burn. <laughs> okay. About eight, ten minutes into the blaze, it's really cooking and giving up some smoke. Real nice blaze and fires we have going here.
This is Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. These Leland cypresses here are about four foot high, some of them a little bit higher. And next to them are green giants, and over here are emerald greens. These are delivered and planted at your location for screening purposes for $40 each, including a drip water kit, which you will see in the next sequence on this video. These trees are easy to plant. The emerald greens are planted three feet apart. The green giants and the Leland cypresses are planted approximately five to six feet apart, or maybe even further apart. These trees are fast growing, easy to grow buffers for screens and barriers. They can give you great noise control. The Leland's and the green giants are deer resistant. The emerald greens are not deer resistant, but all these trees are easy to grow in full sunlight. You can have some shade for the emeralds, but not much. You need to have full sun for, for best results for the emerald green. The green giant and the Leland cypresses can take some shade. Again, the Leland's and the green giants are deer resistant. The emerald greens are not. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are $40 delivered, installed with a drip kit. The drip kit is free when you order a bunch of these trees. We, we travel all over the East Coast from Boston to Nashville. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. We are not going to run out of three-foot hemlocks. It looks like about 2,000 in this field. So just give us a call at 215-651-8329. We can dig a bunch of these for you. They're really nicely trimmed. Give us a call, 215-651-8329. These are our upright Japanese blood good maples here at Highland Hill Farm. We're located on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We have these wonderful looking Japanese maples for sale. Each one is a specimen. We also have other trees, plants, and shrubs, as well as the weeping Japanese maples, both in the green, the veritas, and the dissectium. They, these are the crimson queen. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Highland Hill Farm, Fountainville, PA. Thank you. These are blue muffin viburnum. It has white flowers in the spring and a deep blue berry in the fall. A very easy to grow viburnum. Doesn't get too large. Nice multi-stem shrub. Can grow under shade of other trees, even walnut trees. So it's a very durable, native viburnum that's easy to grow. We have lots of them here at Highland Hill Farm, as well as other trees, plants, and shrubs for you to come look at. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. That's Winterberry Holly. These are green giant arborvitas. These are our three to four foot green giant arborvitas that we deliver and plant all throughout the East Coast. Again, a good plant for a border. Can be planted with other items to uh, give a mixed hedge effect. So it's not all like soldiers. And These are some large foster hollies. 215-651-8322.